Your spiritual awakening is not a destination. It's a continuous unfolding. Professor Maya Patel. In the hustle and bustle of our daily lives, it's easy to feel caught up in the routine, the responsibilities, and the constant pursuit of, well, something. But deep down, there's often a whisper, a subtle yearning for a richer, more meaningful existence. This whisper, this intuitive nudge, might be the first sign of a spiritual awakening. It's a concept that's often misunderstood or shrouded in mystery, but it's a journey that's available to everyone. It's not about dramatic transformations or sudden enlightenment. It's about a gradual unfolding, a gentle awakening to your true self and the world around you. In this video, we're going to demystify the concept of spiritual awakening and explore the five hidden stages that often go unnoticed. These stages are not a checklist or a linear path, but rather a framework for understanding the subtle shifts and transformations that occur along the journey. So what exactly is spiritual awakening? It's not about religion, although it can be a part of a religious or spiritual practice. It's not about escaping reality or denying the challenges of life. It's about seeing reality more clearly with greater compassion, understanding, and acceptance. Spiritual awakening is a process of waking up to your true nature, your essence, your inherent goodness, your connection to something larger than yourself. It's about shedding the layers of conditioning, limiting beliefs, and societal expectations that have obscured your true self. It's about rediscovering your inner wisdom, your intuition, and your unique gifts. It's about opening your heart to the present moment, to the beauty and wonder of life, and to the interconnectedness of all beings. This journey of awakening can be both challenging and incredibly rewarding. It can lead you through moments of doubt, confusion, and even despair. But it can also bring you a sense of peace, joy, and purpose that you never thought possible. It's a journey of transformation, of healing, of growth. It's a journey back to yourself, to your heart, to your soul. And it's a journey that you don't have to take alone. The first stage of spiritual awakening is often called the awakening call. It's that initial spark, that moment of clarity that nudges you out of your comfort zone and makes you question the status quo. It can come in many forms, a sudden loss, a life-changing encounter, a profound realization, or simply a growing sense of dissatisfaction with the way things are. Perhaps you've started to feel a sense of unease, a feeling that something isn't quite right, even if you can't quite put your finger on it. Maybe you've begun questioning your beliefs, your values, or the path you're on. It could be a feeling of emptiness, a longing for deeper connection, or a desire to find meaning and purpose in your life. This awakening call can be subtle, or it can be a major shakeup. It can feel exciting and invigorating, or it can be accompanied by a sense of anxiety or even grief. It's a wake-up call, a signal that something needs to change, that there's a greater truth waiting to be discovered. This initial stage is often a time of questioning, of seeking answers, of exploring different possibilities. You might find yourself drawn to new ideas, new people, new experiences. You might feel a pull towards spiritual practices or teachings, or you might simply start paying more attention to your inner world, your thoughts, feelings, and intuitions. As you begin to question the old ways of being, you might enter what's often referred to as the dark night of the soul. This stage can be challenging as it involves facing your shadows, your fears, and your unresolved pain. And it's a time of deep introspection, of confronting the parts of yourself that you've been hiding from or denying. It can feel like a descent into darkness, a period of confusion, despair, or even depression. You might experience a loss of faith, a sense of isolation, or a questioning of everything you once believed in. This stage is not a punishment but rather a necessary part of the healing process. It's an opportunity to release old patterns, traumas, and limiting beliefs that are holding you back. It's a chance to let go of what no longer serves you and make space for something new to emerge. 
The dark night of the soul can feel overwhelming, but it's important to remember that it's a temporary phase. It's a process of purification, of shedding the old to make way for the new. By facing your shadows with courage and compassion, you'll emerge stronger, wiser, and more resilient. And as you move through this stage, you'll begin to see glimpses of light, moments of clarity, and a renewed sense of hope. As you begin to emerge from the depths of the dark night, you enter the third stage of spiritual awakening, seeking and searching. This is a time of exploration, of venturing out into the unknown with a thirst for knowledge, understanding, and connection. During this stage, you might find yourself drawn to various spiritual practices, philosophies, or traditions. You may try meditation, yoga, energy healing, or other modalities that resonate with you. You might read books, attend workshops, or seek out teachers and mentors who can guide you on your path. This is a time of learning, of expanding your horizons, of opening yourself up to new possibilities. You might experiment with different practices, trying on different beliefs for size, until you find what feels right for you. It's a process of trial and error, of listening to your intuition, and of trusting your inner guidance. This stage is not about finding the perfect path or becoming an expert in everything. It's about discovering what resonates with your soul, what nourishes your spirit, and what helps you connect with your authentic self. It's about finding your own unique way of expressing your spirituality. As you continue your exploration, you'll eventually reach the fourth stage, integration and healing. This is a time of weaving together the threads of your experiences, insights, and new beliefs into the fabric of your daily life. During this stage, you begin to apply what you've learned to your relationships, your work, and your interactions with the world. You might start to see patterns and connections that were previously hidden from you. You might find yourself making different choices, setting new boundaries, or letting go of old habits that no longer serve you. This is also a time of healing, of tending to old wounds, releasing past traumas, and forgiving yourself and others. It's a process of integrating the shadow aspects of yourself that you encountered in the dark night of the soul, and of cultivating compassion, acceptance, and love for all parts of yourself. Integration and healing is not about becoming perfect or erasing all your flaws. It's about accepting your whole self, your strengths, weaknesses, light, and shadow. It's about recognizing your inherent worthiness and cultivating a sense of inner peace and well-being. As you continue to integrate and heal, you begin to experience the fifth and final stage of spiritual awakening, emergence and expansion. This is a time of profound transformation, of stepping into your full potential and accepting a life of greater purpose and meaning. During this stage, you may feel a sense of liberation, a lightness of being, and a deep connection to all of life. You might experience moments of profound insight, clarity, and understanding. The world may appear more vibrant, more interconnected, and more filled with magic. You might find that your relationships become deeper and more authentic. You might discover new passions and talents that you never knew you had. You might feel a calling to serve others, to make a positive impact on the world, or to simply live a more conscious and intentional life. Emergence and expansion is not about achieving a specific goal or reaching a final destination. It's an ongoing process of growth, of evolution, of becoming more fully yourself. It's about living in alignment with your values, your passions, and your soul's purpose. As you start on this journey of spiritual awakening, it's important to be aware of some common misconceptions that can lead to confusion or discouragement. One common misconception is that spiritual awakening is only for spiritual people or for those who follow a particular religious or spiritual path. But the truth is that spiritual awakening is a universal human experience, accessible to anyone who is open to it. Another misconception is that spiritual awakening is an instant transformation, a sudden leap into enlightenment. 
But in reality, it's a gradual process, a journey of unfolding that takes time, patience, and commitment. There will be ups and downs, challenges, and breakthroughs as you navigate the twists and turns of your path. It's important to remember that there is no right or wrong way to experience spiritual awakening. Each person's journey is unique, and there is no timeline or set of rules to follow. Trust your own inner wisdom, listen to your intuition, and allow yourself to be guided by your own inner compass. The path of spiritual awakening is a lifelong journey, an ever-unfolding exploration of your deepest self and your connection to the world around you. It's a journey filled with wonder, discovery, and the potential for profound transformation. By understanding the five stages of spiritual awakening, the awakening call, the dark night of the soul, seeking and searching, integration and healing, and emergence and expansion, you can gain a deeper understanding of your own journey and navigate the ups and downs with greater ease and grace. Remember, there is no rush, no pressure, and no right or wrong way to experience this journey. Trust your own inner wisdom, accept the challenges, celebrate the victories, and allow yourself to be guided by the light within. As you continue on your path of spiritual awakening, may you find greater peace, joy, and fulfillment. May you connect with your authentic self and discover the unique gifts you have to offer the world. And may you always remember that you are not alone on this journey. Thank you for joining us on this exploration of spiritual awakening. If you found this video helpful, please like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more content on personal growth, mindfulness, and spirituality.